Hello, and welcome to another Starfinder Wednesday. I'm Jason Keeley, developer here at Paizo, and with me is Joe Pacini, Starfinder lead designer. How are you doing, Joe? Pretty good. Yourself? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I'm excited to make a Vanguard. I'm very excited for this. I'm, as, as a matter of fact, that's what you're here for, that you want to see. You want to help us make a character today. We're going to give you a whole bunch of choices to choose from, and uh, you'll choose them. Yeah, yeah. That's how choices uh, work. That's how choices work. You choose your choices, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll be uh, taking a look at uh, the Vanguard, which is a brand new character class that will be coming out in the Character Operations Manual shortly, like in a couple weeks or November. -ish. Oh my gosh, it's yeah. October. Isn't it's it? October. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget. Don't forget to mark your calendars. Oh, real quick, can we do the thing um, that we always say in rules about choices? Like once chosen, this choice cannot be changed. Oh, uh, yeah. right. Like in an ominous way. So. Once chosen, this choice cannot be changed wow that was good i wish yeah. i hadn't tried to say it first <laughs> <laughs> okay back, back to your spiel so. i don't know if i have much more of a spiel oh, great, yeah uh so uh the vanguard is a uh, a cl class that you originally wrote up mm -hmm. uh isn't it so uh sure do you want to talk about it a little bit just, just a little bit sure yeah. um the vanguard of course is the entropic master of the starfinder setting now entropy gets a bad rap in our in our game Sometimes, like there's a whole mm -hmm. cult <laughs> dedicated to the sort of tearing down of everything into nothing. There's kind of two two cults in all. In okay, the two. yeah, <laughs> that's a good it's not point. Great. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, the vanguard is is not the other side of entropy. But the vanguard sees entropy as what it is, which is a measurement of sort of chaos in a system and how ordered or disordered something is, and they can manipulate that. And the vanguard part of their name comes from being in the front lines, mm -hmm. uh, not being afraid to take a little damage. We we talked a lot about. Uh, what classes we wanted in this book mm -hmm. and the vanguard was kind of the idea that everyone had at the same time of like a tank of somebody that yeah. can stand there and take a lot of punishment without going down and uh while well, their party you know runs around and shoots lasers and things like mm -hmm. that um or injections or or, yep. what, or what have you Th fling spells yes yeah pulls in alternate realities yeah all these teasers all these teasers but, <laughs> but yeah the vanguard is about um uh it, it used to have something called an entropic punch <laughs> and then we remembered we're in space with all kinds of weird aliens who might not have fists with which mm -hmm. to punch. So we changed that to Entropic Strike, which is a cool thing that they can do uh, to hurt people. <laughs> to put, not to put too fine a point on it. <laughs> sure. It's, uh, some people need hurting in the yeah, Starfinder it's universe. True. There's some okay. baddies out those there. Those cults we mentioned. Some of those cults. They're going to mm -hmm. be real jerks about it. The Cult of the Devourer and the Cult of Ataxia, which is the... Um, uh, I can't only think of them as pickle people now. Uh, Dralix, the Dralix, uh, uh, who don't, it's not that they worship entropy, they mm. just don't try to stop it. Fair. And, but, but it is kind of a considered I mean, you a can't bit, really. So you that's, can, exactly. That's totally fair. Uh, they, yeah, they're just sort of an anti fixing things kind of cult, I guess. <laughs> that sounds, that sounds like me on the weekend. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. Right. Uh, but, uh, before we get into the nitties and the gritties of the Vanguard class, um, just yesterday, uh, no, that was just last week. I should say <laughs> yes. yesterday was a different, I got it. Uh, just last week, we got a quick look at the, uh, Vanguard iconic, mm -hmm. uh, Valoro. Beloro. Yeah, if you want, if, if you want to do that. That's the way that Joe pronounces <laughs> it. Uh, and uh, we got a quick look at his backstory and a, a, a little uh, iconic encounter mm -hmm. uh, starring him. Um, and he is a, a fierce fella, well, but also likes to have fun. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Surprisingly uh, easygoing for someone who can crush armor and weapons with his, <laughs> you know, hands and powers. Uh, and, you know, something I just realized is that mm -hmm. those, those uh, iconic encounters use art from... The book? Um, from character yeah, operations they manual do. that wouldn't have been seen elsewhere before so that's a good reason as any to check it out i have yeah. i have it printed out up at my desk because oh. i think it's really cool yeah that's a the, you yeah you got a really you got an exciting piece <laughs> i wrote about uh dr b uh doing science it's just a picture of her doing science which turned out awesome you should read that oh, one yes too. Re, re, and there'll be another one tomorrow featuring zamir yeah. where we've we've met uh his, his backstory and we'll just sort of get a, a, a look at uh something happening with him whatever that might mm -hmm. be it's a mystery Find out tomorrow on the blog. And find out yesterday, uh, <laughs> backstory. <laughs> yeah, for, uh, uh, cool. All right. So uh, should we get started on yeah, this? I'm sure everyone's start. itching to, their vote, voting fingers are itching mm -hmm. and ready to go. Um, as usual, we're going to start with a, a, a species to pick. Yeah. Um, and all of these new uh, fun species that we're going to be choosing from come from Alien Archive 3, which you can see right here in front of us. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, would you like to kick us off by explaining the choices that our, our watching audience will uh, get to choose from? Yeah. Oh, There's Valoro. It's Valoro. There he is. He is a Karasha Lashunta. You can uh, see that visible entropy uh, coming off of this. Yes, list. visible entropy. Uh, and he's this is a higher level Valoro with a cool energy shield that Vanguard, some Vanguards can choose cool. to access. But yeah, moving to our first race uh, species choice, we've got Durindi. So these are three-eyed uh, sort of enthusiastic storytellers. This one looks a little more serious at the yeah. moment. Um, she's she's busy and she's got trinoculars, as you can see, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, in case those. you missed it, you need to notice that. Um, they love making jokes. They love telling stories and they love zapping people that they meet for the first time. Uh, and, a little little buzzer, hand buzzer joke. Yes, yeah. exactly. And we should talk about what they can do, which is they get a little... Did, would you, people like to know the bonuses to stats? Yeah, yeah, I think you yeah. tell them the bonuses so, stats. Little, a little dex, a little charisma, and then they're not so wise necessarily. They're, mm -hmm. they're kind of having too much fun to really think about everything too much. Uh, they also know a lot of extra languages. Um, they're they're broadcasters in the packed worlds mm -hmm. often. Yeah. Um, not the most reliable maybe, but no. definitely the most fun. <laughs> uh, and they have blind sight electricity, which is a precise sense, which is pretty mm -hmm. cool. Um, and a bonus to perception checks and... They also have resistance to electricity, so they can zap each other all day and not worry about it. Oh. And a couple of minor spells uh, related to electricity as well. So they're pretty loaded out with the zap. All right, zap, zap. Yeah. Uh, and Durindi, they, they, are, they can be found on the moon of Arcanan. Mm -hmm. And so can our next uh, lovely contestant, uh, the Sazeron. Mm -hmm. uh, they are uh, measured and scholarly. They also have electricity resistance, probably from being zapped by their uh, Durindi neighbors all day long. For centuries, yeah. Um, and you can see here, they, they have those four legs and a big tail. Um, they also have, which I believe is the part of their natural weapon, right? They yeah, you can definitely whack people, whack with, that people with that tail. Um, and they have some limited telepathy. They they are uh, smart and wise, uh, but not as dexterous mm -hmm. uh, as their uh, Durindi neighbors, uh, probably from lugging around that uh, that body of theirs. <laughs> they also can, uh, you know, impel truth Ooh. by casting Zone of Truth once a day. That can come in handy when you live with Durindi. You I need know. To really just kind of get to the bottom of something <laughs> real quick. <laughs> and, yeah, that covers them, I think. So, yeah. Then, yeah, they look great. So next we have Hanneken, I think is how we decided to pronounce it, yes. but uh, you pronounce it however you want, my friends. These are dinosaurs. I mean, if you can't tell, uh, that's a dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> and, it's a big yeah. sentient raptor, uh, raptor of some kind. Yeah. And they are raptor based because they're small magical beasts. Um, they don't have a lot of hit points, but they are hardy. They have good constitution and charisma. Let's look at those feathers and that, that so stunning personalities telling a joke right now i can tell and then uh lower on the int side uh, and that's probably to reflect that they're very focused on magic this is a very magical species they uh are they have a few spell like abilities uh that they know from birth they also have soul gems that they track down um it's, hmm. a, it's a really interesting backstory that we can't get into but uh, <laughs> buy this book and read it it's great um and they they also are really good climbers surprisingly mm -hmm. enough and they have a small bonus to medicine and mysticism checks as well Okay. And that's the Hanneken. All right. And next we have the Ijtikri. Uh, they are from the Vescarium. They're mm -hmm. natives of the planet Vesk 2. Uh, they've got uh, four eyes and kind of stony plates on their faces, and they're natural swimmers. I only see two eyes. Where are those other two eyes? Um, uh, Somewhere up top, right? Yeah, on the top of the head there. Yeah. Well, um, Sorry, oh. that was a surprise question. Yeah, they've got... <laughs> oh, I, I see them now. They're yeah, up the, way up there. He's squinting with the top two eyes. Um, And, uh, yeah, well, uh, bearing the lead, these are <laughs> sweet. Uh, uh, definitely squid people. Yes. <laughs> um, they move around on those tentacles of theirs and uh, basically squid it up. Uh, the Vescarium conquered them a, a, a while back, mm -hmm. um, but only because they didn't have the technology to face the, the might of the Vesk Empire. Yeah. Um, but they've adapted to that, as you can see here in this picture, uh, with, with a plum and are uh, cool. Look, they, they, they look like they're ready to, to kick some butt. Yeah, and they, they develop as free-floating eggs that latch onto something and develop over time. John... Mm -hmm. Uh, Starfinder's lead developer, mm -hmm. no, senior developer, sorry. It's okay. So many titles. <laughs> uh, he he wrote these up for us and gave them a cool ecology. And they get a mineral signature from where they grow up, mm -hmm. and that, that gives them various different abilities, potentially. Uh, yeah, and they can swim if we, I forgot if you mentioned that. I think sorry. I, yeah, might have, so, yeah. but it's fine. They can still, they swim more. <laughs> <laughs> And then we're on the last one here, our last option today for our Vanguard. 
And this is my favorite, not to color the okay. <laughs> voting at all. But this is the Shimmering. So this, these are crystal people. Mm -hmm. um, and they are medium humanoids with the Shimmering subtype. They have an ability called Amplify, which means if they take energy damage, they can choose to take a little bit more as they bring it into themselves, stir it up a little bit, and then poot it out with their next attack and, <laughs> and do a little extra damage equal to whatever they took. Um, they also have some resistance to electricity, and they're radiant. They like to glow, and you can see that they have a big old arm that they can turn into a weapon. Or, can, or tools, I believe, is, as they need it. Uh, Flavor-wise. Flavor-wise, yes, yes. They can do that. Uh, they have first appeared in Starfinder AP number five, and now we're here in Alien Archive 3 yeah, for we, everyone's reading pleasure. We picked them up. I remember there was they were they had a page for their stat block, yeah. a little bit of information, and then a page for their planet. Mm -hmm. And in here we got to give them two pages, some new art, although this, this art is actually from the AP that yeah. we're showing here. Uh, but we got new art for them in the book and a little bit more about their lives. You want to say real quick that they're, well, I'll say real quick, yeah. that they're dexterous, intelligent, and not so oh, wise. Yeah. Thank you, yes. um, and we didn't want to say about the Ichikiri, uh, no, get the con great. and wisdom bonuses <laughs> and int penalty. So those are your five choices. I to make sure that was the right number. Yes. Uh, the Durandi, the Sazeron, the Hanakin, the Ichikiri, and the Shimreen. So go ahead and make your votes right now. Let's see what uh, what kind of vanguard are we gonna have? We're gonna have a squid vanguard. We're gonna have a crystalline vanguard. We're gonna have a dino vanguard. I did uh, say my favorite option. Do yes. you like to say yours? Just um, I don't have a favorite. I can't choose. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that I don't necessarily have one. Like having a favorite. They're all your favorite. Okay. <laughs> They're all my favorite. Just in different ways. All right. Um, I'll say it's Tikri then. Okay. I'm gonna cool. make that choice, seeing that it's gotten already gotten thirty three percent. Oh, of I see. I'll say that's, that's my favorite yeah. choice. <laughs> that should mean it's on this way. All right. Of course, any of these would make good uh, vanguards, mm -hmm. uh, as would many of the other playable species. You yes. can kind of do whatever you want, Starfinder, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I just wanted to say that. That's a good. That's a good it. point. That's a good point. <laughs> um, so you know, when you're when you're thinking about making a vanguard, you there, you know, you have some choices about whether or not you want to be, you know. It's, it's, it's true. You could, do you have to be a a, a, pun, a puncher, a striker, a melee striker? Could you do something more ranged with them? I'm sure uh, they can use ranged weapons like anybody can, but they can. Um, they're but they're meant to be up in the mix. Meant to be up in the mix, you yeah. Be, you you want to have the role of of getting next to. Uh, that that's not to say they don't have abilities that sure. can help them protect their allies uh, when things are at range, as right. they often are in Starfinder. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, but they also have some. We'll talk about it soon. Mm -hmm. But um, especially for people who are only familiar with the playtest version, which I guess would be everyone. But sure. Um, uh, to to get into the mix faster. And and stay there Just longer. Stay there, so, stay yeah. up. Yeah, while mm -hmm. while they fight off. All right. Well, you got your way. Hey, Yo, wow. the shimmering. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. That's so great. Uh, and uh, that is your oh, favorite. So write yeah. So write some stuff down, down okay. uh, as we talk about the uh, the a little more about the shimmering. Um, I believe, uh, if I recall from their write up, uh, at least the write up of their planet in uh, uh, AP five, is it's like a kind of a storm tossed world every so often. Um, uh, and, um, that's all I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. They, they are forged in fire. <laughs> mm. Um, when, when shimmerings want to make a new shimmering, they'll gather up and I can't talk and write at the same time. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I will write their abilities in just a second, but they go, they go to Phrasma's forge, I think it's called, which is a, uh, mm. sort of temple of, of making and unmaking where they, Take a piece of themselves and throw it into the fire, and if, right. and if it's meant to be, then a soul will come to that those fragments of crystal and create a new shimmering. Awesome. It doesn't always work, but it does sometimes. Cool. So it's a, it's a big deal to have to have been born a shimmering, basically. <clears throat> and they have some sort of casts that they're happy to fit into. Uh, warriors and uh, workers, I think, are the two main. Oh, right. Yeah. That's uh, what I remember. Populations, and they have seven glowing cities called the Jewels of Shimrin. Cool. So, yeah. What am I writing? Abilities. Let's do it. Let's do it. Just to uh, amplify just to what we talked about. I'm not going to write all that stuff, of course. Right. They got. They do also have this electricity resistance that a lot of our uh, yeah, a lot of choices had yeah. tonight. What's that about? I don't know. Oh, can you do it? Make a little. There you go. Move it over. Hey. Shrink it down. There you go. My sweet handwriting for the second week in a row. <laughs> They're radiant, which I didn't really explain. 
They they glow. Yeah, they, they glow. kind of emit their own light source, uh, but they can I think shut it down if need be. They can they can't extinguish it. No, no but they, they can cannot. adjust it from light to bright to dim. They can make it dim, and your GM might let you wear a blanket or something if you're trying to sneak around. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah, look, yeah. it's you know dim. It's hard to glow. It's hard, it's hard, to, hard, to, be hard to be a glow. And uh, write that down. And shift limb. Grab the fact that they've got four hit points to start with. Yeah, let's do that. And we can move on. To the next choice. <laughs> if you recall from last time we did this, the next choice that we're going to make is your choice of theme. Um, and these are all the themes from uh, Character Operations Manual, minus the one you chose last week for our sweet little Raxalite baby. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, let's go into them real quick. There's the athlete, the professional competitor, an expert in physical fitness, which gives you plus one to one of your physical stats, strength, dex, or con. That'd be totally weird for this. I don't see that fitting out. <laughs> Doesn't fit. Grifter is a con artist extraordinaire who swindles marks, and they get a plus one to int. Uh, the guard is a vigilant protector who doesn't allow their charges to come to harm. Plus one strength or dex, the vanguard guard. Yeah, the guard vanguard. The guard I, vanguard. Oh, that sounds like a name of a celebrity. All right, <laughs> law officer is an enforcer of the law and sentinel of the public, plus one wisdom. All right, uh, the sensate. A gourmand of new experiences and tastes gets plus one to con because you're eating a bunch of stuff. If we pick that one, Amanda's going to kill us. She <laughs> needs it for the witch work. No, isn't that, wasn't that Zamir's? <laughs> that is Zamir's. It's true. That, Maybe we, I, anyway. Spoilers. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Street rat, a scrappy child of the streets, plus one dex. All right. And so, uh, law officer is uh, oh, wow. surging forward here in the poll. Impressive. As people vote, we want to have a, a cop, crystal cop. Would that be a warrior or a worker? Do you think? Uh, pro- sure, mm, that's a good point. It depends on... The what level, maybe like their jurisdiction. Yeah, their jurisdiction. <laughs> if you're working the desk job, you're yeah. more of a worker. If mm-hmm. you're out on the streets, you're more of a warrior. So if it's detective, <laughs> crystal, <man. laughs> detective crystal. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah. So uh, they're gonna get that wisdom uh, if you pick law officer. Uh, Which, will... hey, it could go anywhere right now. This is anyone's race. Uh, Still, yeah, yeah. Except for the guard. No one wants the guard vanguard. <laughs> I think it's gonna be athlete just from behind. I think. Uh, out the last seconds. Gonna come in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 30, 40 people are going to show up and just spam athlete. And <laughs> I guess we should mention, uh, probably Peyton's mentioning it in chat, that you just have to press a number and yep. vote. Yep. Cool. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Well, I mean, what the Anything fine? Yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Law officer. Officer of the law. Cool. I'll add right. the wisdom bonus for that. Right. So we're that. getting a little bit smarter. I'll have to One make day. up for the minus two whiz that they normally get, um, which is good. And I'm gonna write I think that. you can't write off the side there. You have to now. There you Thank go. you. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting wiser as I go. There so. you go. All right. Now we're going to get into the class itself. Mm-hmm. Right. The Vanguard uh, went at uh, at first level, and then perhaps a level or two uh, later, you get different yeah. extra disciplines. You're going to uh, get a, an aspect. You're going to pick a Vanguard aspect, and each of those comes with an insight uh, right off the bat. Uh, do you want to kind of explain? what this means exactly yeah sure class. so entropy we talked about a little before is this kind of abstract measure of chaos and order uh so what does that really mean well it means molecules move around a lot and <laughs> you as a vanguard are really in tune with that and you have focused have started to focus on one aspect of that um, mm-hmm. and you later on and when you're a real great vanguard you'll get to pick a second one Ah, um, but right. starting out your career as a vanguard, you're going to focus on one thing. So I'll explain. We have the poll up, so I'll explain sort of what each one is. So we also, in parentheses, every uh, vanguard aspect gives you an insight, and that will give you a bonus, a plus two insight bonus to your listed check. So boundary, you can see, gives you a plus two bonus to perception checks. Mm-hmm. And it also gives you improved combat maneuver for a specific combat maneuver. As listed there. Which thunder? Yeah. So... Do you want to read the first one? I'll go with the first one. Uh, the uh, the boundary aspect uh, lets your vanguard embody forces that keep a system separated from its surroundings. Uh, that gives you the improved sunder, basically, mm-hmm. technique, and plus two to perception. Yeah. and then, Might be good for a cop looking yeah. around. Holding the one maybe that does the lights. Uh, <laughs> you wait there. <laughs> right. like, yeah. yeah. Uh, then you've got cascade, which is embodying a single change that cascades into progressively greater changes. So kind of the snowball at the top of the hill. Mm-hmm. Vanguard. Maybe that's not the most epic imagery, but <laughs> hey. Uh, and they get sunder and acrobatics, a so bonus to acrobatics. Right. Uh, exergy, which is a great word, uh, embodies the total amount of potential work and the energy of a system can perform. Um, so you basically get our, our, our uh, potential. 
Yeah. Instead of like mm-hmm. that sort of thing. Um, that gives you trip and intimidate. Mm-hmm. Scare people with your yeah. gathered sort of... Um, and you're gathering your 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 Dragon Ball Z amount yes, of power. Yes, you're definitely saying several syllables very slowly <laughs> in, a, in a rhythm. Uh, inversion is embodying the role chaos plays within entropy, sometimes reversing its natural progression. So usually things fall apart. You can sort of hold them together uh, or move people around with your reposition improved combat feat. Mm-hmm. And medicine, because you can maybe help someone with their wounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, right now, Momentum, which currently has the greatest number of votes, uh, embodies energy states that are uh, preserved uh, in ongoing motion. Uh, so yeah, I'm, what stays in motion at what what is in motion tends yeah. to stay in motion, I suppose. James Newton, I think. So. Um, James P. Newton. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is, of course, bull rush because of momentum and uh, culture. Because nothing says uh, uh, like the, the, it's hard to change the the, uh, the zeitgeist. The, the yeah. zeitgeist the, yeah, society's uh, <laughs> mm, let's talk about let's ship talk about of state. <laughs> Uh, and then finally, reaction, which uh, is the most popular I can see from the poll. That is uh, changing changing entropy uh, brought about through molecular reactions like rust and rot. So this has so this is like dirty trick and physical science. This is this is getting down and dirty as a vanguard. You don't mm-hmm. have to be just because you're up there protecting everyone doesn't mean you have to play fair necessarily. Uh, yeah, yeah. So those are our choices. It looks like boundary and exergy and our close second to momentum there. Yeah. But yeah, I like, I mean, I think of the, even the art, which you, if people have gone to that link to look at the iconic encounter, you know, Valoro's on the move. He's, he's momentum yeah. his butt right into the, right into the action. Of course, that's not his aspect, but, <laughs> <laughs> but that just goes to show that any Vanguard can do cool things. Right. Because, you know, they get all the proficiencies right off the bat, too. Basically, they have most of a lot the, of warrior all your, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All your melee stuff. All your melee on. stuff, light and heavy armor, and mm-hmm. the new shields proficiency, yeah, which yeah. we'll get to a little bit later. Mm-hmm. But they are automatically proficient in that and can, uh, you know, use it to protect their friends and themselves. They're the original shield users, for sure. Yeah. I'm a little sad we're not doing, a, a going back a bit to a guard vanguard. I don't know. <laughs> that might have helped us with the name. Like oh, Van could have been could Van. Have been, could have been Vanguard, yeah. Vanguard. Gar Vanguard. Garden. Ooh, yeah. Right. <clears throat> oh, there's a tie, I oh, think, at no. this point. Wow. It looks like between boundary and momentum. So That's we, surprising. Yeah. I mean, what I, is, it? is it? No, yeah, 20, maybe, maybe point, not. It's like six and point eight, I think. Momentum is okay. still up okay. Up there, it's real hard to real yeah, hard to see these little. Yeah, those parentheses that I included are really covering <laughs> those numbers quite well. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's our tiebreaker? I, I think we've got some. Oh no, we got boundary. Oh, so it's one. boundary. That makes sense. Yeah, it's a traffic cop. It's a traffic cop. Yep, <laughs> that's, that's a worker. I think. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That's fair. That's fair. Sure. That doesn't uh, that doesn't change their stats in any way, right? That's just absolutely sort of a general not. cast. It's Great. Just, yeah, flavor. Cool. So they get to get that improved uh, combat maneuver parentheses sunder uh, bonus feet. A bonus feet. And uh, a plus two in- insight bonus to perception. I'll get those down. Get those down there as soon as possible, and I'll spell maneuver effortlessly. Maneuver. Right, let's go. Uh, sunder, right? Yep, sunder. They're gonna That's be breaking breaking other people's weapons for them. Here, let me help you with that. Snap. <laughs> I'll get that plus two to our perception. Okay. Cool. Directing traffic like nobody's business. Like nobody's business. Um, oh. So we could talk real quick about what happens later on when you grow as a boundary. Yeah, true. Uh, as a boundary vanguard, once per combat, and this is in the future. At fourth level. Yeah, fourth level. You're going to get an aspect embodiment. Which is a way to gain entropy points, which is something that we added more hmm. since the playtest even, just for all vanguards. But in this particular case, a boundary vanguard will get an entropy point if an attack misses you or hits but doesn't damage you so oh if you've got damage reduction for some reason yeah or even just you know get shot by a, a shock pistol or whatever what's what's an oh, actual yeah. an arc pistol an arc a shock pistol right? oh so so if you take non-lethal damage if if it hits but fails to damage you um so and we have electricity resistance thanks to being made oh, of crystal. yes i see i see what you're saying yeah because it could yeah, have been yeah. any maybe we did that on purpose maybe we did but yes it's another way to get entropy points so that you're constantly which which we didn't talk about what entropy points are. That's My true. Bad. That's okay. We can um, talk about it now. Let's do that. All vanguards get an entrop- entropic pool, um, and this is a good time to talk about some of the changes from the playtest yeah. because 
what are you doing with your aspect? You're gaining and then spending entropy points to do really cool things, which you might have seen in your favorite anime or <laughs> uh, science fiction movie or even some fantasy stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's a common trope. Um, in Tropic Pool, you can gain you gain entropy basically when you get hit by things. Mm -hmm. um, so if you take damage more than your the equal to or more than twice your level, so at, at level one we just need to take two damage and we're getting that's an entry point. Pretty most, easy. That's gonna happen. And something to keep in mind is our our con our constitution modifier will be how many entropy points we can have total. Right. So we can't just save them up forever. And yeah, um, and, just getting and, matter and matter and <laughs> <laughs> just totally explodes. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a uh, the Vanguard's key ability score. It is another thing to mention. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Yeah, uh, and some things I think that we added uh, if you take two move actions on your turn to move your speed then you gain an entropy point which is another mm. way like sort of an easy way where you don't need to rely on you know maybe you don't trust your gm to hit you or something right like yeah they're being cagey which right because that gives you points and they don't yeah. want to hit you yeah, yeah, yeah uh there there are there are a couple new ways to to grab yourself some entropy points and another really cool way i think is as a move action you can dedicate uh designate an adjacent ally mm. and if they take the same amount of damage oh, that would nice. your entropy points then you get entry points. All right. So again, if somebody's like sniping you at range, you can still, and they're not shooting you because you're the vanguard, you can still get right. entry points. Remember that applies for GM's vanguards too, though. So yeah, you, you can try to game the system, but they're <laughs> going to come at you. I see. So if if I've, I've, if you've uh, designated your friend, then you you can still get the entry points if you get hit. It's, yeah. it's not either oh, or. Yeah, it's both. Totally. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. How long does that Almost. usually last? Uh, that for a combat. Just this is. Uh, oh, for for, oh, the, the, the helping your friend thing? out. Yeah, great question. It's until the beginning of your next turn. Okay, so, so yeah, for a turn. Yeah, it's that's still forever, cool. But that's still pretty it cool. Gives you options if you really need it. And then a, a lot of the playtest options are still in here. Like if you crit or or take a crit, right? That yeah. on top of whatever damage you might be taking. Yeah, you also get an entry point. Um, if I recall, and uh, Chad is saying here, Beastly Benito is saying, do you have new ways to spend them at first level? Which I think no, was... absolutely not. We decided to ignore yeah. that feedback <laughs> because that makes no. Sense. No, yeah, we we definitely added that in. That was a big moment of everyone looking at each other like, oh yeah, oh, we, yeah, we have missed that, didn't these we? Things at first Oops. level. Uh, so we did add some. Uh, one is that you, as part of a full action to charge or move your speed, uh, or yeah, move action as part of a full action to charge or a move action to move your speed. Yeah, yeah. You can spend an entry point and get ten feet of extra movement. So can that was one of the things I was talking about, helping you get into combat. A little uh, bit yeah, better. yeah. And the thing that people might be more excited about is that you can also spend entry points to add D fours to your damage. Yeah. Uh, you have to make that decision before you attack. So it's you kind of miss. a risk reward. Yeah, yeah. But, but then we still have um, if you have entropy points in your pool, then you get a bonus to AC. Um, oh, right. Like yeah. Flat, straight up, as long as you have some. So it's kind of the choice of like, do I want to keep hang on to some entropy points and be a little more defensive, or do I just want to go for it and and try to stack on a bunch of dice onto this attack that I'm going to do? Awesome. So, yeah. So cool. those are two ways to spend it from very first level for every Vanguard. I'm pretty. I'm, Thank you, everyone, for the, yes, the playtest feedback. It was Thanks very so. helpful. <laughs> that, was, that was a time. That's what play tests are for. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah, it was great. All right. Do you want to um, take a look at some? Uh, oh, here's a question. Oh, yeah. uh, does entropy uh, work like tuning uh, for Solarians? Do you need to go in one direction or another? I I think that's no. what that question might be asking. Uh, uh, but not really. Yeah. Um, you just get them. Yeah. I mean, similar. It's similar in that you know you have these classes that can sort of build up uh, right. momentum and power as they go. Uh, but otherwise, no, you don't need to be attuned to a certain direction or anything like that. Right, yeah. yeah. That's, that, yeah. So it's it's a little different, but a little the same. Um, and these entry entry points, they don't stick around in combat, right? right. Yeah, After that's... combat is over, you just sort of like, you're not the same way with the Solarian. You can't have your weapon yeah. or armor out until you're, until you're in danger. So in that way, it's it's similar. Yeah. Actually, it's yeah. a good, good point. And we'll talk more about the other thing that all uh, vanguards get, which is their entropic strike, which right. is no longer entropic punch. Uh when we get to weapons later, I think. Sure. We okay. Yeah. So, so stick around for that. Mm -hmm. Don't go <laughs> don't, don't go anywhere now. You still yeah, have two more choices to make. Choice. <laughs> um, I think let's take a look at uh, feet. A first level feet. Everyone gets them. Mm -hmm. um, let's pick one for our uh, a cop. Or yeah. crystal cup. <laughs> um, uh, the first choice is bodyguard, which lets you uh, give an AC bonus to an adjacent ally as a reaction. Oh, and since we're mentioning reactions, oh yeah, uh, now not at first level, but at third level, uh, vanguards get reactive, which gives them an additional reaction in the same round mm -hmm. uh, once per day, and then 
uh, as you get higher in level, you get a couple more extra reactions. So vanguards are all about being reactive and, and protecting people with yeah. things exactly like this. Exactly. So something to consider, even though at first level we don't have access to that yet, we will soon. Indeed. So that's bodyguard. Uh, Laugh at danger is one of the new feats in character operations manual. And that you need a con of 13. So we need a constitution score of 13, which hopefully we will do because that's, that's our, our key ability score. Yeah. Uh, but you can grant an ally a plus two morale bonus to armor class as a reaction, again, reaction, mm -hmm. when you take hit point damage. So <laughs> if, if, if the fight's getting bad and you've gone into uh, hit point damage, you lost all your stamina and you're really getting beat up, right. if you if you just laugh laugh it off when you take that real bad hit, mm -hmm. then you're going to make your ally feel better. And, and like and, not, not get yeah. hit as much. Like, wait, no, yeah. we got it. We can do this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, solid Stance, which I think is also from Calm here. Yep. Mm -hmm. That needs a con of 15. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, you become harder to move uh, and uh, are, don't get knocked prone. Uh, or you can help stop being knocked prone uh, as a reaction. Another reaction Another you reaction. should take is just sort of like plant yourself in the ground and mm -hmm. be like, hey, I'm not going to get repositioned or knocked down. Yeah, well, I was uh, looking at these earlier. I realized that, you know, per last week, we were talking about creature companions with Peyton. And uh, we talked about how if you get knocked prone while you're mounted, you fall off your mount. Mm. Um, so this could actually really come in handy for yeah. someone who's, you know, I don't know if this is a mounted police officer. It doesn't look be. like it from the pole, but <laughs> we'll keep going. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> so stand still. That's a classic, you know, core rulebook feat that mm. I think is great for a vanguard. You can make an attack of opportunity to stop a foe's movement because... The one thing they're going to want to do when a vanguard is right in their face is get the heck away from the vanguard. Yeah, and move so, past them and get to the the, yeah, the, the, the juicy. The, I was going to say juicy, but then I changed <laughs> <Yeah>. my mind. <laughs> get to the, the squishies, the oh, squishy the bits, squishy. yeah, of the uh, of your your friends. Yeah, but you can potentially stop them. Uh, and and then the last feat's related to that, uh, which is step up. Uh, to take a guard a step as a reaction to uh, an adjacent foe that moves back. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think. Um, uh, I think that's still only five feet, but then you can get it to be more later. Hmm. I, I might be thinking of something else, though. Something top secret. Something or, or something from else. Pathfinder Second Edition, <laughs> or something Possibly. like that. Yeah, <laughs> um, get, it all gets mixed up sometimes. So those are the five uh, there. Um, so far, it looks like Laugh at Danger. We want to have a this. We were talking a lot about Sazerons and 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 Hanakin having a good time. Yeah. Uh, they're, sorry, the Durindi uh, and laughing. So mm -hmm. this guy, this could be a this could be a pleasant shimmering shimmering. Yeah, cop. makes an electricity resistance thing. Just kind of makes you. Right. Yeah. Is that me? Chill. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. Well, that wouldn't necessarily be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking any damage. Huh? This feat doesn't work. Yeah. Not against the the robot, the sparking robot, maybe. Yeah. But exactly. Against a lot of other things. Someone else gets you. Mm -hmm. Um, cool. Why, why is yep. this cop so, so uh, vanguardy? I, I don't know. I guess whatever got you into cop work. Yeah, protecting people. Protecting people. That's a vanguard's yeah. job. It looks like yeah. we got laugh at danger. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Great. Oh, I should write that down. Tap that That's on, why yeah. you're looking at me. Yes. Right. Great. Put that on a, your feet. Laugh. At. I almost wrote the at sign to save some time and then realized that didn't make sense. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. At danger. Got a sweet first level feet. Okay. Now, Terrific. Do the final choice here. We talk yeah. about weapons. Let's talk about Entropic Strike first. Yeah, before we do yeah. the poll, we can talk about Entropic Strike. So this is something every, and I should write that on here as an ability because that's what it is, but it's also listed in our weapons already because Vanguards have what is effectively, as I scroll to the wrong spot, a weapon all the time. They have a magic weapon, uh, advanced melee weapon, which they're already proficient with, uh, that deals bludgeoning and acid damage and targets EAC, which is easier to hit mm -hmm. than kinetic armor class. Uh, and it has the operative weapon special property too, if that wasn't enough. So you can use <laughs> your your dex when attacking with it, in, your dexterity instead of your strength. Right. So it's this, if you want to. If you want to. Yeah, you don't have to. So we could be, we could be strength based if we wanted to be. Um, and later on, in fact, higher level vanguards get to add so uh, another thing I didn't add mm -hmm. is uh, yet another cool thing about this is you add your con modifier to damage and not your strength ah, with an entropic strike. Nice. Um, but later on, you get to add both. Oh, so, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, so they're, they're not messing around. Um, and be, the reason we're talking about this before we get into weapons is because you can also channel your entropic strike through a weapon. Mm -hmm. And that means that you get to add any critical hit effects or special properties that would apply to a melee weapon. Right. Um, and add those to your Entropic Strike. So we've picked some weapons that will add potentially some things. Right. Um, 
Cool. So now we, I think we can take a look at them now. Yeah, let's take a look at these here weapons. A few of them, uh, oh no, a few of them are from, uh, uh, most of them seem to be from, from COM. Um, the first one is a uh, capture pole, um, which it sounds like one of those things you might grab a, a, a unruly alligator with if you're part yes. of animal uh, uh, <laughs> control. Uh, so yeah. maybe this is just that, maybe it's not that he's not a cop, he's an animal control yeah, guy. Animal control, <laughs> <laughs> He's now um, decided to adventure. He's like, right. you know, my skills are uh, yeah. applicable here. To going out there. Um, this has the special properties of grapple and reach and uh, injection. Yeah. Yeah, injection. So, so injection is not going to apply right. generally. I mean, now the thing is, we can still use this as a weapon. Like, we can yeah. use it separate from the entropic strike ability as a grapple. If that's if you wanted to be an injecting vanguard for some reason, <laughs> uh, you'd probably build a biohacker, but <laughs> you're totally <laughs> well, welcome maybe. to do it. But if you use your capture pole, I don't know why I picked this one. I just think it's kind of funny. Yeah, and, cool. okay. and it shows you off have, that you, you can use, you could use you your You could have reach with your entropic strike. And that's a big deal. Yeah. You know, being able to get five feet further with your entropic strike could really... And not just that, but um, your, your attacks of opportunity, which again mm -hmm. are reactions. So you can, as a vanguard at a higher level, you can take more attacks of opportunity potentially yep. although it has to be different triggers but generally they're going to try to walk away from you and then walk away from you again especially if you have this long reach yeah uh and then grapple if you wanted to be grappling uh we didn't we didn't end up picking oh there aren't any never mind okay <laughs> fair enough aspect insights yeah okay. oh yeah, yeah yeah uh so the next choice is a riot shield which is a, a brand new thing um it's, it's, oh that's not the next thing that's the last thing that everyone's picking everyone's picking well let's talk about it now yeah sounds good um so this We'll give you, this is not uh, a weapon, so we can't use our Entropic Strike with it, but we can use our Entropic Strike while wielding it. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. the Riot Shield is going to take one hand to hold, right. and then with our can, other can... hands, we say that all species, no matter what they look like, unless we say otherwise, excuse me, have at least two hands to mm -hmm. do things with, yeah. even if that hand is a, a weird club tail or right. a tentacle or whatever. So, yeah. so Riot Shield will give us a bonus to armor class. Um, it will be kind of heavy <laughs> yeah so it's heavy you're gonna be a little bulk down but it does have a little window in it it does have a little window <laughs> um, and i think it fits uh the vanguard pretty well right because you're just moving yeah down. and i guess a law officer to some extent to some extent yeah probably people um, have been saying like screaming that <laughs> yeah well people uh, some people have been talking about right, captain america uh, throwing yeah, yeah. shields too these mm -hmm. this thing is probably uh, we don't have that in in, in starfinder yet but this thing is also probably too big to throw anyway it's, it, yeah, it's, it's kind not, of almost Florida, coming. Florida face. So I will say, I, ri I originally wrote down the Knight's Shield for this mm -hmm. option, uh, not realizing that it costs too much for us to afford it at our first level. <laughs> yeah, uh, but that that you can attack with, um, and would be a good option for our slightly higher level Vanguard. Right later on. Um, yeah, let's get through these uh, other choices, yeah, yeah, uh, unpopular choices. Oh, no. Let's not go through these other no, popular choices, forget. but they would have been Pulse Gauntlet, War Club, and Tacklash, uh, and. Okay, we'll, fair enough. We'll talk about them. Uh, the the pulse gauntlet is something you wear over your over your over your hand, and uh, basically it lets you uh, uh, ch get a little bit of charge. Right? It's not yeah. sonic, right? It's it's, it's, electricity. it's electricity. Okay, it's... to in, to someone's face. One of my players in my game had had one, and okay. I could never remember which it was. <laughs> I would always say the wrong one, uh, so I don't remember. Okay, one but of the it, two. And it has a knockdown critical hit effect. Oh, which nice! It makes it a cool choice. I I feel like when we talk about Tacklash, people might change their minds a little. Well, but polls closed, not unfortunately. Very, not very law officery, so it's totally fair. <laughs> fair enough. And it's also, not law officery. That's a word. It is. is the War Club. Which is, <laughs> I don't know why you'd pick this, but I thought I'd put it in there for the sake of completion. Just in case we came up with a, 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 a vanguard that is... Um, yeah, you never know. A, just a, a thug. Yeah, a, a dinosaur thug. <laughs> yeah, loves okay. magic and big War Clubs. <laughs> big lubes. Uh, and then the Tack Lash. The Tack Lash is cool because it's, you know... I'm sorry, it's your turn. No, it's fine. No, I'm just Tell pointing out the, the tablet. Um, oh, yeah, I, lock, I let it lock. The uh, <laughs> the uh, tack lash is you know basically a uh, kind of a kind of a whip, uh, but more futuristic than that because it's more like a nylon cord and whatnot, and, re mm -hmm. and it has the disarm and non lethal reach and trip special weapon properties. Yeah, so you can do anything you um, want basically through, with yeah, this tack lash with things. your entropic strike. Uh, cool, but uh, the choice was pretty clear. It was the yeah. riot shield, and uh, with that riot shield, we're gonna get um, a think a, a plus one for just having it. Yeah, just uh, when for you're wielding, wielding it, it yeah. and a plus one to armor class. Uh, but then you can uh, also um, uh, that doesn't quite work that way. But you can uh, definitely punch around it. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Here's the character sheet I didn't let lock. Let's add that in. Mm -hmm. It's not quite a weapon, but we'll put it here anyway. 
Because why not? Why not? Riot shield. Some some of the shields that were in com you can possibly Yeah, you can attack make attacks with. with. That's what the that's why you picked mm-hmm. the night shield. Yeah, because you could have attacked with it, but yeah. it was a little too expensive, a little too expensive for that. Mm-hmm. Um, cool. Well, those are the choices. Uh, right now, we're going to just sort of go through and uh, pick some things. Uh, uh, Joe's going to spend the 10 points for uh, ability scores yeah, I am. to get through. Uh, what do we pick, think? We think in con. I'm thinking we need to have a good old con, con, right? Um, I'd, I'd say six. T- okay, sure. What do you think? Let's put six in the con. All right, let's spend six. And uh, have so start with a 16, 16. there. I'll, um, I'll wait for the modifier till we we're settled. Yeah, exactly. Um, Do we want to get our whiz up to just even, or we kind of could have it at nine? Uh, just I leave. feel like we learned something on the streets, right? Maybe if we were on the streets, yeah, with our animal control reading. <laughs> put it up to to ten, ten then. Just what, put it what up are, to ten. What are folks saying in the chat? Let's see. I'm gonna put it up to ten while nobody's paying sure. attention. Yeah. And, um, uh, we'll hit and tweak the the armor bonus for the right shield is a plus one for wielding it. Yes. That's a plus one shield bonus, which yes, is a new a type of bonus. Mm-hmm. Uh, check the uh, thing there. Do, do, do. There, go. there we go. A little technical difficulties hey. there. Um, uh, people are saying that mis- perception, uh, mistaken potatoes are saying perception is not something to skimp on. We get that plus two insight bonus, but when, and it does it's look true. like a class skill for us. So if we want to make sure that we don't get a negative on perception. Or at least a little from 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 our wisdom. We might want to at least yeah. put one point in there. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. We got three more points to spend. Okay. Did we pick uh, Laugh at Danger. We got to have a con of thirteen. We've got that. Yeah. Uh, so there's that. Uh, we're gonna have a, at least a twelve in Dex mm-hmm. and a twelve in Int. That's probably pretty good. Do we want to? Yeah. We want to boost up our Dex a little bit. Well, how are we hitting with our Entropic Strike? Do we want to use Strength or do we want to use Dex? With the operative weapon special property right. that we have access to. I mean, so, since we've already got a little bit of decks, let's keep going that way. I like it. Yeah. Uh, let's throw another let's throw another two on there. Yeah. Why not? Something we should mention about character operations manual that's pretty cool is we uh themes give you that plus one. Mm-hmm. You know, like we got a plus one to wisdom here, which we were able to use to get up to a nice flat wisdom at least. Yeah. But sometimes, you know, the difference between an even numbered um score and an odd numbered one like 12 and 13 decks for instance right, yeah. not that big a difference but in com we made sure that there are feats like we saw uh, two of them just today with mm-hmm. uh prerequisites that are odd numbers so it yeah. does matter that you're putting that one in a certain so you want to look at feats and pick something ahead of time maybe even yeah indeed uh, but yeah let's do that and we don't want to get too high in decks because that riot shield does have a max dex of i think plus three plus three yeah. so we so we can only get so far with that but we can still use it too for for a good punching yes definitely uh we'll be pretty smart uh we'll be not too charismatic i'm okay with that okay yeah we only have one more point to spend so yeah. let's have an 11 strength let's do 11 strength let's Just do a little it. more bulk we can carry sort yeah of, oh, technically not yeah. quite <laughs> <laughs> well later on we can always boost that up yeah with our with our levels later on mm-hmm. i'm just writing in the mods now did i do any of that right <laughs> uh, uh looks good to me <laughs> great terrific so um let's crack that uh oh, character yeah. operation and see what kind of skill points we got for our first level uh vanguard and they're gonna get six plus their int modifier um, so, and you can see here what ones are, are class skills. I did this wrong. No, you Is everyone correcting me yet? No one. No one said anything. You need, I need your help. Oh, people. you didn't add the two to int. Oh, That's what I'm. Yeah, I'm just realizing did correct that. you. That. Good. Thank you. Uh, terrific. That Brett Meyer. We got oh, it. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of made it to ten mm-hmm. made, uh, from our from so our penalty. Plus one to we happen to remember that. So we're getting seven. So that's, you know, vanguards are not the most skilled, but they're definitely not the least skilled either. No, um, not at all. And, and looking at if you look at their. Uh, class skills, which we've already marked off here, and they're they're into science a little bit, life science, sort of how how stuff moves around. Hillary Moon Murphy's asking us about weapon specialization and with the entropic strike only offering half level because it is an operative weapon. Now, there's something special about the entropic strike, which I just noticed here by reading yes. it. Um, there's a special form of weapon specialization for uh, your special entropic strike, mm. which allows you to add a bonus to your damage equal to your Vanguard class level plus half of any other class levels you have. So um, if you are multiclassing, say you wanted to multiclass into operative because you wanted to trick attack with that mm-hmm. thing, you would, you would still get uh, uh, half of that. Once you got to two upper levels, you get an extra one instead yep. of, you know, uh, having that plus two from if you just stayed with Vanguard. But then you get the trick attack. 
Yeah. So that's what that that's what happens there. Yeah, no penalty for being a cool vanguard. Yeah. That's for sure. Uh, <laughs> profession law rock. That's good, Kishmo. I like it. Um, kind of like it too. I do want a profession in a way. We could but... put a profession officer, law officer there. Okay. Uh, I like it. I don't remember if we wrote that one down anywhere, uh, which one it was, if it was inter whiz. Oh, based. Who knows? who's got their core rule book besides us right in front of us? <laughs> That's true. That would just take a while. Oh, we're not on camera right now. No, so. we got, we got uh, time. You, I mean, we put, we, we got that. Bonus to perception. We should probably have perception. Yeah, Maybe sense perception motive. Does, does, uh, is that a is that a class skill for us? Not so much. No. But um, we're not that knows? kind of cop. We're not that kind of cop. <laughs> uh, we're a vanguard. We've got a riot shield. I feel like uh, we're into intimidating folks mm. with our no zero mm -hmm. prisma <laughs> and <laughs> culture. You got to know what's going on out there it's on the streets. Um, athletics and acrobatics, eh? Boom! Boom! I'm just going for it. How will what work with a natural weapon? Yeah. Oh, how will it work with our oh wait our shimmerin weapon? How oh is yeah, that gonna work. That's a good. That's a good question. That's a great question. Bisa Benito. <laughs> um, let's talk about. It'll work really well. It'll work so good. It'll work real good. Um, let's take a look at that shimmerin natural weapon. So we're either going to use our natural weapon or our uh, entropic strike. We can use our natural weapon with our entropic strike, but that's not. That'll basically just let us add things we probably don't want. So I'm just looking up on our strike real fast. Because that's what a natural attack is. Uh, so that would let us uh, do non-lethal damage. Because unarmed strikes do non-lethal damage. Although this particularly says, it says yeah. a natural weapon, which is uh, lethal. And it's specifically lethal? It's not it's the, the old 1d3 lethal. All right, then. Never mind. <laughs> You're killing people. So yeah. there's real no, really no difference. It's the kind of damage you might do, potentially. Yeah, this does piercing damage with, yeah. uh, with the Shimmerin natural weapon. So that's the difference. The Shimmerin does piercing, and your Entropic Strike's going to do bludgeoning and acid. Right. But you can kind of shift that. It's, you don't have to put down a sword, for instance, to shift mm -hmm. into a, a sword hand, because you, we've chosen the riot shield. So yep. it's looking pretty good. Yeah. Uh, we got what one more skill point to spend here. I'm gonna All let right. you pick. Let me pick. I what do we, the got? Rest of it. Uh, we got? Let's see. Uh, let's do acrobat. Oh, you did acrobat. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah. Culture. I agree. Agree. Seed into okay. Do, 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 mm -hmm. do, do. Um, I don't know. It was smart enough. Let's throw survival in there. Okay. We'll handle some animals. Predict the weather. Yeah. You know. See where those animals are hiding. Well, this oh, Obisa Benito was asking again about the natural weapon. Um, again, that get because it's a natural weapon that gets a different kind of uh, weapon specialization at third level, and I'm gonna fit, find that right now and read it. Great. Um, you're gonna get. Uh, uh, it's the same that happens with the the Vesk natural weapon, I believe. Um, you get one and one half times your character level to damage rolls for the natural weapons, but those are not operative weapons. Mm. But so that's a question. So if you are using a weapon and Using your atropic strike through it, mm -hmm. you does that that gets the operative. So you're doing the operative. You're doing your entropic strike damage, right? Yes. And so and, it is. And, so you don't take this into account. Well, actually, yeah, you don't. Um, yeah, yeah. So and, it's, and also in terms of the lethal, non-lethal thing, that does get. That's interesting. <laughs> Just do this live on air. I love it. I mean, this does say you can. Natural weapon says you can deal one d three lethal damage with unarmed strikes. Uh, so. Now I'm thinking about how rules is written versus rules is intended. Well, when you, in Tropic Strike, it says you can take uh, special properties mm -hmm. if you want to. You don't necessarily right. have to. So it's an interesting question that I will look into more. But it's more the special properties. The the natural weapon doesn't have any special properties attached to it, I think. Right. That's so fair. Yeah. it's just a whatever. It doesn't have it just doesn't have the archaic special property. That's the mm -hmm. only difference uh from a <laughs> from a punch, regular punch you would yeah. do uh with uh, if you didn't have a natural weapon. Mm -hmm. uh, do do do. Um let's see. We have any other questions? We got the uh <laughs> uh Shitaru was saying that uh the Shimmerian Vanguard law officer has its own has their own flashing light. <laughs> just need to just go woo with their mouths as they just sort of flash their lights off. Just need that spoozify ooze we made. Uh, <laughs> we can, yeah, play a siren for them. Yeah. Um, yeah, oh, we're looking at some, we're going to look at some names. Chat's going to throw some names at our way while you, uh, if you want to fill in Add some up other all stuff. all these math. Yeah, do some math. Do -do -do. <clears throat> 
Sorry about that. Um, yeah. Um, again, uh, the entropic. I'm going to take a look at that entropic strike. I'm not adding the. This is the energy. I'm really not doing this right. Did we decide what a law officer? Uh, uh, it wasn't actually in there, so I'm, oh, I great. think it's wisdom. Yeah, it was. Was it up? <clears throat> so zero. <laughs> too much. Too much health. Too much health. Ha ha. Um, speaking of health, don't forget that the uh, the Vanguard is going to get seven hit points. Okay. Uh, to go on with the four from uh, a Shimmerine, mm -hmm. total 11, and a number of stamina points uh, equal to seven plus the Constitution modifier. So, Sweet. Ten. Okay. Um, it's pretty good. Yeah, uh, that's not bad. Someone's saying the Flasher, Richard Happy, <laughs> Leslie Nielsen, Ben Grimm. Ben Grimm. Oh, wait, hey, I see what you did there, what Quincy. Ben Grimm, mm. who was a rock man. Uh, he was more of a rock man than a crystal man, <laughs> I think, personally. Uh, Flash Gorgon. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> um, These are all surprisingly appropriate. I'm really proud of everybody. Right. Well, yeah. Richard Happy might be a little... Okay. Well, a, little, a, a little close to the line. Yeah. Detritus. Oh, it's, it's uh, Dennis. That's Dennis, our, our friend Dennis Muldoon. <laughs> uh, is that, was, that, was that a... a, 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 a a Discworld reference? I bet it was. <laughs> it had to have been. He'll never tell. Um, Sergeant Crystalson, Punch Cop. <laughs> yes, of course it was. Yes. Now, now the next time, next time we see Dennis, I'll have to talk Discworld with him. <laughs> um, Punch Cop is hard to avoid as the nickname for this character. Yeah, Punch That's Cop definitely be its name. Uh, Legal Light, Lawman Light. Uh, do they get a bonus to skill because of the theme? Yeah, the law officer theme. We can actually give yeah. a little bit of tell you what bonus to a skill they get, or the, I should say, a, a reduction of DC. Yeah. To uh, sense motive checks to sense deceptions and discern secret messages. Maybe we oh, should put whoops. that point in sense motive. <laughs> Carol Ferris, Ranger Deputy Chuck Chunk Norris. Chunk Norris. Chunk Norris. Aha, uh -huh, Patrick. Uh, Good one. Um, oh, but hey, we know what you know what. By what the way, a, what a, uh, as well as something I think I think I forgot to do uh, last year with the biohacker. Oh yeah, is that first knowledge, theme knowledge is if uh, sense motive becomes a class skill for you <gasps> because of the thing. Let's change that survival to to, to sorry that you already yeah, let's, let's change that to it. sense motive. Let's do it. Uh, uh, but if it, it is a class skill, you get the plus one. We don't get that plus one, but we get it as a class skill, which is plus three. Even better. Yeah, we'll take it. Cop crystal, crystal cop. We did it all along. They'll send your motive and take you downtown. Down, downtown <laughs> to one of the seven jewel cities. Yes, um, it's it's a it's 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 a hard rain in the jewel city. Whoa, this is cool. When <laughs> oh, I was sorry. going to, I was going to, yeah. you interrupted me. Hey, that thing you're doing right now, it's really great. No, I like it. Come on. Uh, uh, there's a million stories Ooh, in the good. jewel <laughs> in the jewel city, and this one's mine. Yeah, what is it? It. I was working the downtown beat one day. Uh, Hold on, so I gotta, I gotta get like a, Let me get a little crystally sort of uh, tone to my voice. I was working the street one day. That's just me talking to a glass cup. Diamond Dave! Um, <laughs> Is that a mistake in yeah, potatoes? I thought you were calling out someone named Diamond Dave. Hey, Diamond oh, Dave, Diamond that's Dave my here. best friend. Thanks my, for subscribing, Diamond Dave. My partner, Diamond Dave, <laughs> yeah. uh, came into the office. He said, we got another murder. I just shook my head. What is this city coming to? And I shifted my limb into a, spike to a giant and spike and stabbed him. <laughs> the, wait a minute. Stabbed it. Oh, stabbed the table. Yeah. The table, uh, yeah. Pick like, up the papers. So sick of, yeah, so right. sick of this. <laughs> they do that with receipts too at some <laughs> restaurants. Officer Shiny Sharp McBridelson. Wow, that's that's a oh, facet. Huh? That's hey, what fun. are resolve points? You you learned that last time, right? It's half character level. Plus yes, plus your uh, your capability mod. mod. It's gonna be four and half character level minimum one, of course. Yep. There you go. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Uh, we should pick a name soon, I think. Let's that's just my pick own one of these personal. names. No one's telling me that we should do that. <laughs> we should pick one of these. There's been a lot of good ones. Mm -hmm. Do you have any? Do you have any? Do you remember any of them? And do you have uh, any I favorites? Oh, I just saw Constable Quartz, which I really like. Okay, it's a little on the nose, but. Uh, well, we could we could uh, put a spell it a little weird. Yeah, K W. Okay, A R T Z. K O R T Z. K O R T Z. Quartz, yes, courts. Yes, I like it. Constable courts. All right, I'm gonna put it up right up here. Constable. Something we should point out mechanically: the fortitude and reflex saving throws are good for mm -hmm. a vanguard. Cool. They're good at taking punishment and mm -hmm. dodging out of the way of punishment. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, and we are medium. Right. Yes, shimmering are medium, and we're so normal. Normal speed, speed. speeded, if I remember right. Yes. Gender. 
I'm good with anything. We'll go. We've been saying he a lot. All right. So we'll just go with that. Homeworld is Shimrasa. Shim 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 definitely in there. Shimrasa. Shim Shimrinsara. Dang it. Pretty close. Got it. Deep in the vest. And obviously, this is a lawful evil character. <laughs> <laughs> good, lawful good. There you go. Cops. Yeah. Uh, good, the good cops at any rate. We're doing great. Yeah, I think we're nearly done. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if you want to just quickly pick an armor so we can throw an armor class on there. Yeah, let's let's buy some armor. Let's buy some first level armor. We want heavy armor with this with this guy, and we then can. we'll be done. I think that'd be great. We spent uh, we did spend four hundred seventy five credits on that on that ride shield. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm just getting a note from our producer, Peyton. Thank you, Peyton. For the deity, we should put, and I'm going to put it in all caps, just like your note says, the law. The law. <laughs> I am the law. The law. Uh, say it like that. I am the law. No, I'd say it like, like I am the law. Yeah. Judge Dredd. That was, no, yeah, I got it. I was trying to do it. Should no, we do, really uh, we could just do a, uh, a well, we don't want mm, ceremonial plate. No. I mean, we want to go heavy, heavy armor. Why not? Oh, why not? What's our max dex here? Uh, well, max dex bonus on the troop ceremonial plate is plus two. You and get that's it. our dex. Yeah. We'll so we upgrade could... it if we want to move around That's more. true. We're, We're just going to wade that. into battle and Arr! say, stop in the name of the I am the law. Yep. Or whatever. All right, ceremonial plate it is. That's only 110. Whoa, that's But it so does cheap. give us a minus 10 speed adjustment. Oh, Luckily, we can spend those in tropic points. Yeah. To, to sort of counteract that uh, during a fight. 20 feet in armor. Let's do our let's do our AC because I've already noted that we get plus one shield. That's what this is mm-hmm. attempting to say over here, which okay. I can't quite see because I'm not. Oh, so let's talk about that. It's a plus this. one EAC bonus and a plus three KAC bonus for that troop ceremonial plate. Heavy, heavy armor. One and three. Yeah, you tell me. That's what I'm telling right. you. I love it, and we get our full dex mod. Yes, we don't care. We're not two dexters to begin with, so our our ACs are going to be thirteen and fifteen. But when we're holding our shield, it'll be 14 and 16. There you go. It's pretty, pretty sweet. It's I pretty think. good for first level. Yeah. All right. All right. I think that covers. Constable Quartz. Yeah, some little like minor bits here and there we can, we can take care of uh, off the air. Yeah. Um, you know, get some, some ge- other gear and whatnot. But I think that is. Oh, my gosh. You didn't write our theme. You didn't write a theme on there. There you go. So sorry. Um, any, other, any other final thoughts? Um, it's a good character. Yeah. I'm proud of everyone. Uh, I like our glow cop. Hopefully they can kind of gently change between red and blue. (laughs) Yes. Depending on what uh, energy they might have absorbed at the time. But thanks for making a Vanguard with us. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. Uh, One of the question on there of whether or not Mm. Constable Quartz is going to be the official bodyguard for our onion biohacker. (laughs) Uh, But I mean, I'm sure when they finally meet up for their adventuring party, that's, that's going to be the role that the good constable plays. Yeah. Um, I'm yeah. curious how they'll get along. A visiting, yeah, they're gonna not. They're probably not gonna get along too well at first, but they're gonna ge- definitely gel. We'll see. <laughs> well, we'll see how what happens when the uh, when we make a uh, witch warper next week. Mm-hmm. Well, not we, but when wow. you make a witch warper next week, oh, and we'll see if it's a good point. You know, did we mention that Rob was gonna be here with us today? But he and our managing developer Amanda Hammond are doing super secret things. That super I'll tell secret you about now. Uh, no, 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 no okay. tackle <laughs> and scene. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, maybe uh, the uh, the visiting dignitary uh, from from Onion Planet is mm-hmm. coming to Shimmerin Sara and needs mm-hmm. to get the you're on you're on this duty because ah come on because <laughs> Quartz has been uh Shift all right in, right into the table. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> that's real. right. It's the reason you're on this duty. You yeah. keep messing up the desk Stop, sorry. with your, your limb desks. shifting. <laughs> get stone desk. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. And if you're uh, out there, I agree, Cosmic Crit. And we're gonna let's see some let's we're gonna see some art of these these characters at some point I out there floating. Too, yeah. on that i'd love to see that kind of mm-hmm. stuff um <laughs> oh kishmo we're only doing alien archive three rate uh species for our these things so you're not going to see a stellar witch warper although you know i'm not look, on this stream not week. on this stream next week but <laughs> right. you can see one out there soon you can make your own yes. as long as you have both the character operations <laughs> manual and starfinder adventure path number eight i think <laughs> or yeah. access to the internet or access to the internet hey it's all on sfrd.info Nice. <laughs> Good remembering. Info. I don't know why I spelled info. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we always do. Dot, dot com. Um, oh my gosh. Next, <laughs> you cannot get rid of me, Starfinder Wednesday. Ooh. Next week, I will be talking to Liz Liddell uh, about Husk World. 
the third volume of the Attack of the Swarm Adventure Path. That's exciting. Um, and um, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the development process of that uh, and how much uh, she had she had fun writing it and how much I had fun developing it and some of the cool bits you uh, from behind the scenes. While you're doing that, I think Amanda and I will make a Stella Fair uh, Witch Warper. There you go. Despite everyone. There you go. Uh, but then a week after that, I think, is the Witch Warper. Cool. The Witch Warper character creation. So stay tuned for that as well. Um, and so uh, we're going to sign off in a minute. I just want to let everyone know that uh, BB Wolf had to cancel uh, for today. So uh, no pungent cr- pung crawl, pungent right? Pungent crawl. Yeah, crawl. Yeah. No pungent crawl. Sorry about that. Uh, there were some technical difficulties on their end. Uh, but um, uh, trying to get them to come back. Oh, yeah. So the, because uh, that's a fun group. Mm-hmm. Um, otherwise, um, that's it for me and, and my good me. friend Joe here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> both of us. Yes. We will see of you us. around the internet. Bye. Goodbye now.